obviously really proud of, of our players, really proud of our staff, uh, really proud administration, university, everyone involved. That was a big time win uh, versus a really good opponent. Uh, and, we, and we wanted to, as, as a team, we wanted to get this done um, for everyone involved at home. Uh, and and that, that, that's what we challenged our guys to do. And uh, they went out and got it done. So just, just really proud of them and everything, you know, been through coaching change and, and you know, roster turnover and, and spring ball, fall camp, you know, just to, to be at this point, to, to have six wins is, is obviously one of the goals we had. And, and uh, man, just really happy for those guys and, and uh, a bunch of really excited kids and, and uh, coaches. Talk a lot about when you get a complete game in. Seems like you, you got that tonight with Georgia Southern. First half, second half. Did you, did you feel that way until you got that completion? Four yeah, I thought we did. I thought, um, you know, besides the turnover in the first half, the kind of the, the whatever happened there, we'll have to look at it on film, and then the, the kickoff return, I thought, um, you know, I thought we played really well. Obviously, in the second half, you got to do things to, to bleed the clock and, and uh, you know, play, play complimentary football there. But, um, yeah, I, th I thought, you know, besides the Baylor game, and, and uh, I thought it was pretty clean. The defense coach just talked about their performance tonight, holding that offense yeah. down the first half to 10 points. Yeah, I mean, they had a really good scout team quarterback this week, gave him a good look, and, uh, you know, no, a lot of credit to those guys and, and that staff. I mean, they work a, a ton of hours and, and put guys in a really good position, and then the players got to go out and perform, and, and that's what they did. So uh, really excited, you know, for them and just proud of them. You know, I really am just, just really proud of the, the staff and, and the players. I know this was the goal, but are you surprised that the first year, I mean, like I said, I know this was the goal, but are you surprised that it happened this quick? Uh, no, no. I, I mean, you, you look at back over the schedule and look at those games. I mean, you're, you're three or four plays away from, from being, you know, you know, having a couple more wins there. So, but I, I'm excited with where we're at, and, and uh, good thing is we're not done yet. We got a, you know some more games to play, and, and um, you know we got a really good football team. We got a really good football team. How do you stay away from the hangover for the next game? And you know, make sure these guys don't settle. That uh, yeah, it's good. usually a twenty-four hour. We might, you know, extend this to forty hours. <laughs> but, uh, we're we're going to enjoy this one, so we'll worry about next week. Next week. You know, coach. After that turnover, the offense responds. Twenty-four points in that second quarter, basically for this game. How hard you have to put this offense rebound yeah. after like, you know, a turnover that turns into a touchdown. That's kind yeah. of thing y'all struggle, but being able to overcome that and being able to basically put a stand. Yeah, no, I'm really proud of those guys as well, staff. And, and uh, everyone involved there, and, and uh, Coach Leftwich and TJ. I mean, uh, you know, we knew, we knew all week we go out there and play a clean game. That's what's going to happen, and that's really every week. But especially this week, we, we really liked our matchups. Um, I think it starts up front on the offensive line. Um, I think that's where it started. And we felt like if we could run the ball, uh, and then I thought TJ played extremely well tonight. I thought he used his legs uh, tonight in a big time moment. And that's we kind of challenged him. Uh, to do that, and uh, when he plays like that, he can take over a game. And, and uh, you know, just really, really fortunate to have him here. And, and uh, thought he played really well. And with this defense, since you all and they feel like it feels like they're probably taking a step forward. You know, when you hold Georgia, you said Georgia Southern just ten points, yeah. especially as as effective as they are. How hard are you for this, especially for these last three home games? Yeah, I thought, I thought they played really well. That, that's a dynamic offense right there. I mean, that run game, that running back, and those receivers, I mean, those are some of the best in the league. And, um, you know, I, I thought we, we got after the quarterback and affected him and turned the ball over, and that's what we were trying to do. So, uh, really proud of those guys. Coach, you're coming off a week where you guys were only able to put up 13 points on Troy coming out of the bye week. What was kind of important for you guys, making sure that didn't become the norm that you got back to being able to run that into ball? Yeah, that was important to me. You asked those Troy coaches, I talked to Coach Summer after the game, what do we have, over 300 yards offense in the first half? It's just all about the turnovers last week. I mean, we have a really good offense, and, and um, you know, we know what we're capable of, but you have to go out on Saturday and do it. you got to go out there and prove it. I, I thought we had a really good week of practice. Um, you know, we, we really got after it and did a lot of more good on good this week, and, and uh, you know, I think that paid off. Talk about jumping in the river, Coach. Have fun with that. And, Man, <laughs> that was fun. You know, it's one of those deals where, you know, for a couple of weeks now, we're, we're waiting to get that six win. And, and uh, you know, I'm, you, you feel a sense of relief. You do just to get that one. And, and uh, now you can play free and, and better watch out. Like you were saying, with TJ's performance being so strong, um, what have you said 
just what did you say to him after the game finished and, and, and what do you want to see from the rest of the game? Yeah, I, th I think when he plays a clean game like that and takes care of the ball and uses his legs, I mean, everyone knows, I mean, the guy's 6'7 and can, can throw it 100 yards. I mean, he, he, he has all the physical tools. He has the mental tools. He's still a first year in the system. You know, first year in the system. And to do what he's doing is, is pretty outstanding in a really good league. I mean, I think that's one of the things that, you know, us as coaches, we sit around and, and you know, we're waiting on that. Oh, when's that easy one coming? It's not coming, right? It's not coming. This is a really good league with some really good coaches, and you got to bring it every week. So, um, you know, just just really proud of TJ and the way he's handled his business. He's, he's uh, you know, he's just just really proud of him. Uh, I, Really proud of when, when you're bringing him in over the off season, is, is this a game that you could not the specific game, but is this a situation the kind of thing that you pitched to him and that and that you you knew that you could be confident in uh, having at this moment? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you know, every single one of these NFL scouts that come in, um, they they love him, and uh, you know, NFL is a, a measurables league, and, and he's got the measurables and. Uh, you know, for him to go out there and, and play a clean ball like that and, and go out there and, and be efficient and get the ball to your playmakers in space and use your legs. When he's able to use his legs like that, it takes his game and our offense to the next level. And, and uh, that's what, you know, you see what we did last year with Lindsey. And, and you look at Lindsey's stats, he didn't run the ball until the playoffs. And that's all you need. In those big games, you just need the quarterback to just do enough. You know, a sixth win for this program, obviously that, that meant a lot. There was the fans rush the field. There was a little jumping in the river you just uh, took part in. Oh, just seeing what it means to this, this fan base, just getting to that, that small benchmark of ball eligibility, what, what does it mean when you when you look at all these people and, and how excited they are for this moment? Yeah, just just really excited for everyone involved. And, and, and uh, you know, that's why they hired me. And, and that, that's why I had this job circled, because I know what this place can be. Just, uh, just, just really proud of, of everyone involved, and uh, just thankful for the opportunity. And uh, that was that was a special one and a night that, that I'll never forget. Coach, kind of building on what you just said, um, I know when you come here, when any coach takes a job, they expect to success right away. But in your case, did you expect success this fast? I mean, it's you know you haven't even been here a full season and already uh, takes State for Yeah, I think so. I got a lot of belief. Uh, and myself have a lot of belief in these coaches and the administration and and once we started getting into spring ball and, and getting things going and signing some players and getting through fall camp um, I really did I, I felt really good where, where things were and, and um, you know like I said we let a couple of games slip away we really did and um, but I'm happy with where we're at I think we just you know we got a tough stretch coming we got to go finish strong